Let's kick off with Mr. Takuma Yoshida from Seiryu Asset Management. Please, Mr. Takano, uh, Mr. Yoshida. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, FinCity, uh, for uh, inviting us to this uh, presentation uh, opportunity. Uh, I'm Takuma Yoshida, CEO of Seiryu Asset Management uh, LTD. So uh, we're uh, in business for 13th year. Now it's our 13th year. Our AUM is around 1.8 billion. Now uh, we're working as a gatekeeper for Japanese institutional clients. Uh, so our client base are institutional Japanese investors. Uh, basically 80% of them are the pension funds, uh, uh, corporate and public. And the uh, rest of them are uh, regional financial institutions and uh, 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 and uh, um, university endowments and high net worth client base. So uh, what do we do as a gatekeeper? Uh, first, uh, we work for the uh, with the clients and identify their uh, investment needs. So uh, we uh, find out what their investments uh, portfolio are, uh, what they're looking for uh, as a focus, and uh, we uh, kind of verify from their uh, uh, their investment uh, de uh, demands for for for, for them. And with that, we go out and find the good investment opportunity that's around in the world. And uh, we find where it fits the uh, uh, clients and, and we kind of present those investment opportunities. And when we present those investment opportunities, we uh, also find out the best manager that can extract the uh, best uh, uh, risk return rewards from that uh, investment opportunity. And uh, we present that uh, uh, strategy with the, uh, the third party managers as well. So uh, our AUM is, a, as I said, it's a one, uh, 1.8 billion. Uh, uh, the composite of them is around 70% alternatives. Uh, it is uh, from private equity, private debt, uh, real estate, and we do invest into hedge fund as well. Uh, the rest of them is uh, the, the transitional asset. Uh, primarily, it's uh, public uh, equity. Uh, we invest into the engagement strategies, uh, uh, basically, but uh, we're not shy of the investment into any uh, kind of uh, uh, traditional investment as well. So uh, our team is uh, now 20 people. Uh, half of them are uh, investment personnel. Uh, the background of the investment personnel is uh, from uh, uh, asset management uh, capability uh, uh, experience uh, and uh, funds of funds investments, and also uh, uh, in investment bankers. Um, and we work with them. Uh, uh, we work with they, these uh, people, and uh, we welcome all the op uh, opportunities with meeting uh, all new uh, emerging managers, as well as uh, continued uh, conversation with the asset owners as well. Uh, we work, welcome the uh, opportunity to exchange idea about the investment ideas and thoughts, and, and uh, we, uh, we look forward to uh, continuing the communication with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Yoshida. Now we'll move, move on to Mr. Angus Wei from Polymer Capital Management. Hi. Can you see Hi. me? Yes, yes, okay. please. Minasawa, konnichiwa, watashi wa Polymer Capital no Angus Wai to moshimasu. Watashi wa Nihon ga daisuki desu. Shumi wa kendo desu. Nijugo nen ichou tsutsukete masu. Kono na de nakanaka Nihon ni ikkenai desu ka? Hayaku Nihon ni ite minasama to ai shitai desu. Sore made ishou kenmei Nihon go bengyou shimasu. I apologize for my uh, weak Japanese language. I will carry on my presentation in English. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, Polymer is a multi-manager platform. Uh, we launched this back in 2019. It's a joint venture between myself and the PAG group. We are currently a total staff of 130 plus people. And of the 130 people, we have 40 investment teams. And of the 40 investment teams, it consists of 70 in, seven zero investment professionals. 
based on the um, you know a lot uh, all of all of portfolio managers and uh, non investment professionals are based in multiple offices. We have eight offices in the region, and we continue to grow. We are very happy. We uh, we have a uh, Tokyo office, uh, which was newly established last year in Otemachi. We have uh, roughly 25 people uh, in Japan, and we are looking forward to growing uh, that business uh, significantly. Um, our focus is uh, Pan Asia, although we do have a large part of our investment in Japan. Uh, we look forward to continue to bring on teams to continue to diversify our portfolio to uh, to, um, to have a, a reduced uh, lower volatility overall. Um, in general, we also focus a lot in investing in uh, uh, risk, uh, a risk framework, a risk management team. Uh, and uh, we currently have 19 people in the risk management team. Uh, we are expecting to increase that, that to 30 people by the end of this year. Um, on top, uh, in, in addition to that, uh, we are also a big believer in ESG. We are continuously investing our resources in ESG and have uh, very happy to acquire uh, a very talented uh, managing director in the ESG uh, function. And we'll continue to add two more people into that group. Overall, uh, we are very excited uh, uh, about uh, the, the market and we're very excited about uh, acquiring great talents to our platform. And uh, it is a short presentation, so I will uh, encourage you to reach out if you have any questions. Uh, but uh, at the at last, I just want to wish everyone safe and uh, healthy uh, for the uh, uh, and I'll conclude the, uh, the, the presentation right now. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Wei. Next is Mr. Jeff Pentland from Northleaf Capital Partners. あ、皆様、こんにちは。uh, so thank you everyone for allowing me this time to introduce Northleaf Capital Partners. Um, Northleaf is a private markets investment firm. We have about $19 billion uh, US dollars in commitments under management across three asset classes. We specialize in mid-market investments in private equity, private credit, and infrastructure. Um, we have a number of investors uh, from around the world, including le leading Canadian institutional investors, such as CPPIB, as well as leading Asian institutional investors who have partnered with Northleaf, I think for a number of reasons. Um, I think first is, is we're a returns oriented principal investment firm uh, managed in full alignment with our investors. And we've been active in the private markets for more than 20 years. Um, our focus is on providing consistent portfolio outcomes that deliver income, yield, and capital appreciation with inflation protection and downside protection, which we feel is particularly important in the current market environment. We provide a unique combination, I think, of both global reach, uh, but mid-market focus with an on-the-ground presence in the key markets in which we invest, which is uh, mostly in North America, Western Europe, and parts of Asia. Uh, we take a very collaborative approach to tailoring, tailoring our fund solutions uh, in order to meet investors' unique needs. Uh, and finally, we have a longstanding commitment to responsible investment. Uh, and we've had a responsible investment policy in place since 2011 and, uh, and a strong alignment with ESG considerations. We look forward to being able to serve Japanese investors and we'll be establishing uh, a Northleaf office in Tokyo uh, this year, pandemic allowing. So thank you very much for the opportunity uh, and, uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Mr. Pentland. Now we'll move on to Mr. Jonathan Napora from Ellington Management Group. Hello, good afternoon. 
Um, I'd like to start by thanking FinCity Tokyo for affording Ellington the opportunity to present today. Uh, my name is Jonathan Akor, and I'm the head of Asia Pacific uh, Business Development and Investor Relations at Ellington. Um, given the time constraints we have today, um, I thought I would start off with a brief introduction to Ellington uh, for those of you who may not know us. Um, Ellington was founded in 1994 uh, by Michael Vranos, uh, who built the mortgage-backed trading business uh, at Kidder Peabody, uh, which was one of the largest mortgage desks on Wall Street. Um, our co-founder, uh, Larry Penn, who attended Harvard with Mike, uh, built the same business uh, at Lehman Brothers during that time. Um, in 1994, uh, Mike was approached by the Ziff Brothers, uh, who were looking to seed hedge fund managers. Uh, they made five seed investments at that time, uh, Daniel Ock to form Ock Ziff, uh, HBK, Starwood Capital, Chanos, and Ellington. Uh, if we fast forward to today, uh, Ellington now manages over $13.4 uh, in assets across the credit and liquidity spectrum. We employ 150 employees uh, across offices in New York, uh, Old Greenwich, Connecticut, London, um, and we hope to expand our footprint uh, in Japan through the Fin City Initiative um, this year. Uh, the business is owned by 14 partners. Uh, five of these six original founding partners are still with us today. And whilst Ellington uh, and Structured Credit are at the core uh, of what we do at Ellington, uh, we have diversified uh, over time into other strategies, uh, such as systematic corporate credit uh, and distressed. Uh, we also run um, several private credit uh, closed on vehicles as well. And these strategies are managed across a variety of commingled, uh, and bespoke solutions for investors. Uh, we have Japanese investors in several of our products, uh, and we hope to expand, as I mentioned you know, before, uh, our footprint in Japan um, through the FinCity initiative. Uh, just for example, uh, in the past, um, we've tailored custom you know, mortgage mandates uh, for Japanese banks that are very sensitive to Basel III and the RWA capital treatment um, for their balance sheets. Um, and I feel that many of our products, you know, target a very steady return stream uh, with low volatility, high sharp ratio uh, that tends to work well uh, for many Japanese investors. Um, I'd say one advantage of partnering with Ellington is that, in fact, you know, we try to understand the challenges of the investors across different regions and channels and understand there's not a one size fits all uh, product. Uh, we must leverage our expertise uh, and deliver solutions that fit the constraints of our clients. Um, but thank you very much uh, again for uh, affording me this brief introduction today. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Napora. Now we'll move on to Mr. J. Bala from AIP Asset Management. Good afternoon. How are you? Uh, thanks for taking the time to join me today. My name is Jay Bala. I'm the co-founder of AIP Asset Management and the senior portfolio manager for the AIP Convertible Private Debt Fund. Established in 2013, we are a Toronto-based team of approximately 10 professionals with over 100 years of combined experience in direct lending, private debt, and equity capital markets. Uh, AIP is supported by a strong partner in Canada with over $6.5 billion in AUM, uh, which has the exclusivity to distribute our fund in Canada. The fund has been a top performing fund over the past eight years as recognized by numerous industry awards. The fund has an average return of about 14% uh, per year for the last three years, and it has generated an excess of 32% per year since its inception eight years ago. In terms of performance, we rank number one in Canada and number one in the US in our respective categories. Our strategy is to lend to publicly listed companies in North America with a market cap of less than 200 million, and all of our loans are convertible into publicly listed companies or publicly listed stocks. Every deal must check two check boxes before we invest. You know, number one is the enough assets or collateral so we can get our money back if things go wrong. And number two is it's a stock market story and it's the equity upside in it. The fund has a low correlation to both fixed income and equity markets. Uh, for example, the fund's correlation to the Nikkei 225 is negative 0.1 and its correlation to the Nomura bond index is 0.2, so there are significant benefits to Japanese investors. I thought the easiest way to explain our strategy is to give you a quick example. 
So in late 2018, we invested in a small cap lithium mining company called Desert Lion, which was listed here on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Desert Lion mined a low-grade lithium called the Pitalite, which is primarily used for ceramics. So when most people think lithium, they think about the high-grade stuff that goes into cell phone batteries and electric vehicles. Uh, when the market was hot, Desert Lion had a market cap in excess of 150 million. They had raised over 30 million in the IPO and they were producing the petalite to $90 a ton and selling it for 130. So it was a profitable business. By the time we got involved, the market dynamics had changed. Lithium prices had dropped. The market cap was 15 million. They were producing the petalite $90 a ton, selling for 70. So clearly losing $20 for every ton they produced. Although the company was going through difficulties, we saw an opportunity and decided to move forward. During our six weeks due diligence process, we found a company called Lepidico that was listed in the Australian Stock Exchange. And they had a technology that could upgrade low-grade lipidolite into battery-grade lithium at a significant profit margin. So within nine months of getting involved with this company, we were able to negotiate alongside management um, to have this company merge um, with Lepidico in Australia, and we got a 50% premium on our strike price. So this is how AIP generates our alpha. It's by rolling up our sleeves, it's working with management, and it's by creating a win-win scenario that works for our investors and all stakeholders involved. And with that, I'd like to thank you for taking the time today and please feel free to uh, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mr. Pala. Now we'll move on to Mr. Go Tanuma from GoFund. Hello. I'm Go Tanuma, the president of GoFund Company Limited. We are a completely independent asset management company established in 2020. We do not have a parent company or VC firm, and we strive to be a truly customer-oriented business. Our licenses are investment management business and type 2 financial instruments business registration. There is currently only one type of fund under management. It is a fully quantitative managed futures strategy. One of the features of this strategy is that it invests in global equity and bond futures, which are more liquid than individual stocks, and the quantitative model is more reproducible. There is no lockup, no sales charge, and no surrender charge. Past performance results include a gross annualized return of 14% and a sharp ratio of 1. The Go Fund is an absolute return hedge fund, and it was my dream and reason for starting the business to provide this type of fund to individual investors in Japan. In January of this year, my dream came true, and I launched a direct sales service on the web where you can invest in five funds from 100,000 yen. We are taking on the seemingly reckless challenge of a hedge fund times small lot. Of course, we can also set up risk return adjusted funds for institutional investors, and we are also looking for distributors. In addition, I have recently published a book titled Fund Manager Go. As a fund manager with a face-to-face -face connection, I dared to write this book with my own thoughts and feelings at that time, although I had some doubts about a young person like me writing a book. I hope you will read it. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Next, we have Mr. Yuzuru Ikeda, from Tishman Spire. Hello everyone, I'm Ikeda from Tishman Spire. Many of you may have never heard of our company before, but we are a historical real estate investment company and developer established in 1978. We currently have over 1,200 employees globally and our assets under management is over 7 trillion yen. Our Japanese subsidiary was established at the end of October last year. As the easiest way to understand what kind of company Tishman Speyer is, we have posted some pictures of our representative assets and projects on this slide. The leftmost photo is the Rockefeller Center in Manhattan, New York, which you may know. This is where the headquarters of Tishman Speyer is located and also the owner of this property. The second photo from the left is Yankee Stadium, which we also developed. Globally, we are also involved in many large-scale developments, including the high-rise office building in Frankfurt and the Nike headquarters in Shanghai. I don't have a photo, but you may have seen the chimney next to the jumping platform 
where Ryosuke Kobayashi won the gold medal at the Beijing Olympics. The entire area is also a development project of our company. In terms of our relationship with Japan, we are involved in a very large development project called Mission Rock with Mitsui Fudo-san in California. And in the field of life science facilities, we have been attracting attention recently. We announced a joint development project with Mitsui Fudo-san for a large-scale life science facility in San Diego last year. In the area of life sciences, we have been involved in a very large development project. In the life science field, we have formed a joint venture called Breakthrough Properties with Tishman Speyer and Belco Capital, a specialist in life sciences, to invest in development. The photo on the far right is an example of a project being developed by Breakthrough in collaboration with Harvard University. We are also involved in a wide range of other real estate related businesses from core to development, including affordable housing strategies, production studios, and agricultural land strategies targeting high-value added crops. In addition, we are actively investing in prop tech, including smart security, and we are investing in prop tech venture companies with the latest technology. We are also implementing these latest technologies in our own properties during development and value attach. In the future, we hope to be able to develop various businesses related to real estate with many investors and business owners in Japan. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Now we have the last presentation from Mr. Yoshisa Kojima from Columbia Threadneedle Investments. I am Kojima from Columbia Threadneedle Investments. As Mr. Kuwata of the FSA explained at the beginning of the presentation, through our support office, we obtained a license last year and opened our office in Tokyo. We are an investment management company under the umbrella of Ameriprise Financial, one of the largest financial plan companies in the United States. We have a global presence with approximately 87 trillion yen under management. We offer a variety of investment services, including fixed income, equities and alternatives. And last November, acquired the European agricultural business of the Bank of Montreal to strengthen its strategy in responsible investment and alternatives. BMO, which also acquired Columbia Threadneedle Investments, was two of the 18 written members of the UN PRI when it was launched. The total number of funds under management related to responsible investment is approximately 5.6 trillion yen and the amount of funds classified as Article 8.9 is 3 trillion yen. In response to requests from institutional investors, we have included carbon emissions in our investment guidelines, and we are also making efforts to develop new products. We have a very long track record in the deposit investment global equity strategy since 1987. We also provide an outsourced service that compiles and reports on the engagement of a client's entire portfolio. We have a dedicated sector unit for engagement, and we have approximately 55 trillion yen in mandates in addition to our assets under management. Apart from ESG, our other key strength is research. We believe that a well-developed research system is important for stable, on acquisitions mainly through a bottom-up approach. We have about 650 investment professionals, of which about 240 are research analysts, making us a very large organization. Utilizing these research capabilities, we have traditionally been involved in the management of the balance sheets of the group's insurance companies. We have earned stable excess returns with minimal downside risk through buy and maintain management of bonds and bottom-up management. As for alternative management, we are working on the development of advanced products. For real estate in the US, we will conduct operations using big data and utilize a lot of data that may not seem directly related to real estate at first glance, such as local income education and occupation at the zip code level, to identify areas where productive people live and work. In infrastructure, we offer an open-ended core product focused on the mid-market 
called Sustainable Infrastructure Strategy. Last year, we upgraded an old mine in Norway and invested in a data center that runs on 100% renewable energy. In this way, we hope to expand our business in Japan by providing a variety of operational services that meet the needs of our customers. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Kojima, and thank you everyone for all great presentations.